Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome, welcome. This is Wendy with Love and Stampin'. I am so excited that you're here today. We are going to make a double Z fold card. Actually, we're going to make two different kinds, um, and we're going to get into that in a minute. As you're jumping in, say hello. Um, give me a little thumbs up there, and feel free to leave comments letting me know where you are, how your weather is, what you got going on today, and we will have some chit chat at the end of this video. Uh, really quick, before we get into things here, I wanna share with you a few things I have today. So first is, today is the first day of March. Wow, I don't even know how we're in the third month of the year, but we are, here we are. So first of March, we're making these double Z fold cards and this is March's creative inspiration calendar. So this calendar is meant to give you creative prompts all through the month that will just help you um, come up with ideas or try new things. If you want to get these calendars in your email every month, all you have to do is sign up for my emails. So there's a link in the description below this video. If you scroll all the way to the bottom of the description, it says, get my emails, click on that, sign up, and then just make sure that you confirm your subscription. Because if you don't confirm your subscription, then you won't get the emails. So this will go out two more times in the month of March, but as soon as you sign up, you're gonna be taken to a page that will give you access to not only this calendar, but all the calendars back all the way to the last June. So if you want this calendar, that's what you can do to get on that list. Next up is my free gifts for the month of March. Let me grab one of them over here. So for the month of March, I am giving away until March 27th. If you place a $100 online order with me using this host code, you're gonna get this pack of goodies in the mail for me. So in this pack, we have the Mischievous Mouse stamp set, or mice, excuse me, which is adorable. We've got, and I'm gonna be playing with this this month, so you guys will see some projects with it. A sampler pack of that beautiful rainbows and sunshine paper. So if you didn't get enough of this during celebrations, I have some more. And then a, a full roll of Daffodil Delight ribbon. So when you place a $100 order or more, that is the gift that you get. And if you place a $50 online order or more, you're going to receive the uh, resin, playing with patterns, resin dots. And I have some here that are already open, but this is what they look like. So you'll get a full pack of these for free. So these are my special March host codes. There are two host codes. You are more than welcome to place two orders in the month of March, use both host codes and get both gifts. That's totally fine. You can do that. I also wanted to mention I have an email coming out today with a special class that I'm doing with some friends. So if you're on my email list, you're gonna expect to see that later today. The Waves of the Ocean stamp set and dies and paper released today. This is the Waves of the Ocean collection. So you can purchase this in my online store. It's $79.25 US and you get all of these goodies. And I'm gonna show them to you because we're making a card with them today, but they are beautiful. So there's gorgeous stamp set, dies, paper, foil paper, and rhinestones, which are my new favorite rhinestones in the whole wide world. And then we have a savings in bloom, uh, amazing deal going on. 20% off the entire month of March. You can get 20% off the stamp and cut emboss, the mini one, and you can get 20% off, there's 13 different bundles that you can get 20% off. And I have pulled them all off my shelf. I have all of them except one, so I'm gonna show them to you today too. All right, let's get into our card making. And we're gonna start by using the Waves of Inspiration stamp set today. And I've got all my goodies here. Let me get them over here. Now, I want to forewarn you. If I sound like almost a little out of breath or like I'm wincing, my back is out. 
So I've been laying flat pretty much all day so that I could have enough stamina to do this for you guys because I didn't want to miss our live together. And I had worked very hard on projects for it. So I really wanted to be here, but I am in pain and I am, <laughs> I am struggling a little. So bear with me if I kind of like catch my breath or if I sound a little winded, it's because I'm having a hard time, you know, managing. So Waves of the Ocean Collection. We have this beautiful designer series paper. It is absolutely stunning. And I only have a few sheets of it here because I've cut so much of it and used so much of it. I need to order another pack already. But it is so gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it just, and then the other side is this beautiful. Reminds me of like what would look like a coral reef or in the sand. And then there's this beautiful foil paper and it comes in like Pacific Point, Coastal Cabana, and then this beautiful silver. So this is gorgeous as well. And this is all comes in the collection for the $79.25. And then this, and then we have the dies and the rhinestones. So here's the rhinestones. Like I said, favorite rhinestones ever. And then we have the waves dies. So these are also gorgeous. They make these big giant waves and I have a few samples to show you guys, but I actually am putting, oh, I need that. I need that die. I'm actually putting together a video for you guys with several samples using this. So we're not gonna go too far into that today with samples. Okay, um, what we're making today are Z fold cards, double, double Z fold cards. So the, the one we're going to make first is this one. It's got this double ocean wave and it's got two Z folds right next to each other. And I have another sample to show you too, but we're going to get started with this one first. And I have made for you, oh, I just realized I didn't get all my pieces cut. Oh, goodness gracious. I have made for you project sheets for all of these cards and grab them here. Where are they? Where are the project sheets? I print, oh, they're right here. So there's this one. So this is what my project sheets look like. They have a picture of the card, simple cutting and in instructions, some scoring instructions, and then the supply lists. These are free on my blog. All you have to do, there's a link below the video. You click that link, you go to my blog, you print the supply lists and the project sheets. They're totally free. All right, so let's get started with this one. It's four and a quarter by 11. And see, this is where, now where's my paper trimmer? Way over here. Okay. And we're gonna score this at two and three quarters and five and a half. So this is just your regular size cardstock. If you were gonna make like an A2 size card, we're using Pacific Point cardstock and we're scoring at two and three quarters by five and a half. And then we have a piece of basic white cardstock and this one we are going to score at two and three quarters and five and a half, but it is cut at three and a half by nine and three quarters. Okay, so we're gonna score again at two and three quarters and five and a half. All right, now, before you do any folding, what I think is the best to do is do your cutting. What I have neglected to do is cut a couple of my pieces here that I need in basic white. So you're just gonna get to cut them with me. So I need a piece at four and an eighth. Oops. And we're gonna cut two at two and five eighths. So I love our Stampin' Trimmer because it has eighth inch and sixteenth inch measurements and it has centimeters. So it's just a really great trimmer. If you don't already have one, this is a great one to pick up. And then we need one 
at four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Okay, if you're new around here, you might be thinking, why isn't she responding to comments? That is because I can't multitask. You guys know this. I tell everybody this every single time I do a live that I have to focus on my projects and focus on what I'm doing. But at the end of the video is when I spend some time answering your questions and doing some chit chat. So we will get to that, okay? So make sure you're asking any questions you have about the projects, any questions you have about product, any questions you have about me, <laughs> whatever your questions are, feel free to drop them in the comments and um, I will answer them. So here we are layering all of these pieces onto the card base. You want to make sure you do this before you add your second Z fold, okay? And then my designer series paper, I already had pre-cut. So this is easy to lay down. So you need two pieces of two and a half by four and one piece of four by five and a quarter. And again, you don't need to worry about writing any of these measurements down. I have created the project sheet for you for this card and I've created a project sheet for you for two other cards. So you're going to be able to print all three of those project sheets along with the supply list and it will tell you everything you need okay all right there's that now the next thing we need to do is work on our next layer for this i'm going to bring in my stamparatus stamping tool the stamparatus is stampin up stamp positioning tool like many other stamp positioning tools out there on the market. And we are going to do a little bit of interesting stamping here, okay? So for me to get two of these waves on this, I had to kind of be strategic in how I did it. So I've pulled my wave off. I'm lining my paper up to this grid line. It doesn't matter which grid line it is, okay? Just pick a grid line but I'm lining it up so that it's kind of like squared up so that if it moves on by some chance, I should be able to get it back in the same spot. Then I'm taking my magnet and adding it here to the cardstock. Then I'm gonna place my stamp that has my wave. And the reason this is down from the top is because I want to make sure that this part of the stamp is off the edge of the cardstock here. You don't wanna stamp the, this harsh edge line like accidentally in here, cause it's just not gonna look as good. So we're gonna make sure this line and this line are coming off of the edges of the cardstock a little bit. Does that make sense? So what I'm doing is lining the stamp up with this um, grid mark so that it's over a little ways, okay? Then we're going to take Pacific Point ink and ink up our stamp. Really well and stamp. And it doesn't quite have enough for me, so I'm gonna go in and do it one more time. And what I like to do is outline the edge or trace the edge of the stamp to get a really nice impression. And that seems to work every time. Okay, so then I need to clean my stamp off. So I'm using my Simply Chamois to do that. Now oh, let's go this way and it cleans it beautifully, pulls all the ink up. And my favorite way to clean my stamps is with my stamp and scrubber, but for stamps that are stuck to the Stamparatus, that is the best way to clean them. So now I wanna make sure I don't have any ink on my fingers before I start touching my paper.
paper. Now we're going to need to do the exact same thing, but we have to turn, whoops, I see I've got some ink right here, so we're gonna clean that up. I can still see. All right, hopefully we got that nice and clean. Checking my hands. All right, we're gonna put our cardstock in, line it up with a grid mark, doesn't really matter where, but we want our wave to butt up to this and hang off the edge again, okay? So we'll put our paper in place like that, line up how we want our wave. Close this down, and then we're gonna stamp again. So I was thinking this would be a really fun technique at the bottom of a scrapbook page too, to have like rolling waves going across the bottom. Don't you think that would be pretty? I think so. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna move my stamper out of the way. And now we need to add our pelican. So I'm gonna close up this ink pad so that I don't accidentally stick my hand or arm in it. And grab a piece of scrap, white cardstock, and we are gonna stamp our pelican in gray granite. Gray granite seems to be the color I gravitate towards for this pelican. I don't know why, um, but I've made a couple of different cards with this, and this is the color I've used both times. <laughs> I guess because it's kind of a gray brown, so I feel like it works for the pelican and it works for the, the stumps. And then we're going to die cut our little friend using our mini stamp and cut and emboss. Now this is normally $60, but you know it's on sale 20% off for the month of March. So if you don't already have one of these little guys, these are great if you need to save space. Um, they're really good if you're on a budget and especially right now because, you know, 20% off. So if you're a crafter on a budget, this is a great option for you. And they're great for travel. So if you're going to be traveling and you want to be able to take your crafting goodies with you, this is a fantastic option. And because it doesn't need electricity, you could sit in a hotel room, you could sit out on a balcony, you could sit anywhere in your car. In fact, I've <laughs> been known to take die cutting machines in my car with me while my daughter is at swim team and sit and die cut stuff for projects. I have been known to do that. So I love having the mini stamp and cut and boss because it makes that a lot easier. Okay, now this is the, I should have said this before, the wider fold here is the front of your card, okay? So this is the center. And we're gonna add this little pelican friend right here using Stampin' Dimensionals, which are hiding. You can see I got inky last night. And then today, when I was working on this stuff. And then I wanna make sure that this covers the this harsh line, right? Because we don't want that harsh line there. Okay, now we can fold in this way. This is where I'm gonna show you how to fold it. And so now we have this Z, right? Okay, and then this one is going to go opposite. So this will go back on itself. And now we have this Z. So together, they are a double Z fold. So the last step for this card is to stamp the happy birthday and it's best to do this stuff before you put it together um, so that you don't end up with a big old mess, okay? 
and trying to trying to stamp on something that is already assembled can be a little rough. So there's our happy birthday. And then we have our little birdies here. And I have my little tiny clear block for my little birdies. And then we've got Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And I'm just going to stamp my birds just randomly happy little birds you guys remember bob ross and all his happy little creatures I'm just gonna make a happy little bird and that isn't that kind of amazing how that really adds to like the card it's it's just <coughs> amazing to me sometimes okay so now we're gonna cover this last panel with glue. I'm using Stampin' Seal Plus, that's my favorite. And this is how I like to adhere these, okay? You need to make sure that the front is centered on the card, but you gotta squeeze this under. You see that there, so how this opens up here? So you don't wanna accidentally glue this piece here to this piece here, because then your card's not gonna open, it's gonna be weird. So you, when you do this, you wanna kind of close this part in, and then you wanna slide this in so that it's like this. Then turn it this way, and do your very, very best to line this up in the center of your card. Okay, so I'm paying attention to how far from this edge I am how far from this edge I am, and how far I am from the top and the bottom. And I'm doing my best to line them up so that it's centered. Doesn't have to be perfect because it's not perfect. It's handmade. That's okay. Then I'm adding adhesive there and folding over, and voila. We've got our double Z fold card. Isn't that simple? It's such a simple technique, and then the card is just gorgeous. So the last thing I wanna do on this card is add some rhinestones because, hello, these are gorgeous. So we're gonna add some of these rhinestones to the front. And I love my little take your pick tool. This is a $10 tool. It's in my online store. I use it every single day. It's got multiple attachments at the end and the little sticky at the top to pick up your pieces with. I just love this thing. Okay. And there we have it. We have our finished Z fold. Now, this isn't the only one I have to show you. I have others to show you. So you guys ready for that? I also created this card which I think I love equally as much. So it's got a blank spot. And the nice thing about these cards is they will lay flat. So if you need to write your sentiment in here, it's okay that it's already assembled. You will be able to lay this flat and write your sentiment. And then it closes up just like that. So this is using the Garden Wishes Bundle, which is on sale for 20% off. So if you go over to my blog, there's a link in the description below that says measurements and supplies. You click on that link and it's gonna take you to my blog. I created a project sheet for this card too so that you would have all the measurements that I used for the gray, the white, the home, heart and home paper. So you can have the project sheet for this too. Okay, now since we're talking about the 20% off products I want to show you I took the time to pull all of the bundles off my shelf that are on sale and so I thought I would show them to you really quick because these are all 20% off so this is the all squared away bundle and this is only for the month of March 2022 okay so this one is on sale for $40 regularly 50 such a great deal so you get the dies and the stamp set. Okay, we're gonna go fairly quick through these. This one is the Beauty of Friendship Bundle and it is on sale for $46.25. 
we've got the Hydrangea Haven Bundle. It is on sale for $46.25. Pansy Patch Bundle. This one is one of my very favorites. I just made a card with this not too long ago. Um, and this is on sale for $45.50, regularly $57, so that's a great deal. We've got the beautiful Seascape Bundle. This one's on sale for $41.50. We have the gorgeous Art Gallery Bundle on sale for $44.75. Nature's Harvest Bundle is on sale. Nope, this is the wrong stamp set. I pulled the wrong one. It's, this is the right dies. We'll get back to that one. <laughs> Sweetest Peach Bundle is on sale for $32.75. The Sunflower Bundle is on sale for $45.50. And the Welcoming Window is on sale for $44.75. Now... Why do I have these two here? And I'm so excited in my voice you can hear. Let me show you the other card I made. And there is a free project sheet for this one as well. So this one is the land or the portrait version of a double Z fold. So the double Z fold can go two ways. It can go landscape or it can go portrait. So I created this portrait version for you. Now, I'm not demoing this because it's way too intense, but I am going to demonstrate the measurements and the score lines here in just a minute. And then um, you can make a card like this on your own. But I used, to make this card, I used the large flower from the Celebrate Sunflowers and I stamped it all over my white card stock in the back before I adhered it, obviously and then I colored it. So that was a very nice session of sitting and coloring. <coughs> I enjoyed it very much. And then I used the welcoming window dies and stamp set to stamp my little um, picture here and my little flowers and pot. And then I die cut all of these pieces separately to layer them on. And then I used the sentiment, sending sunshine for a beautiful birthday from the welcoming window. I love this card. Do you guys love this card? I just love it. It's so happy. It's a little bit busy, a little bit busy for me. I normally don't do stuff that's this busy, but I just love how this turned out. So we're going to show you the measurements for that in just a second. The last couple of stamp sets I have to show you is the Garden Wishes Bundle, which is how I made this card. So beautiful. I love this one. And the What's Cooking Bundle. So the What's Cooking Bundle is on sale for $40.75. And the Garden Wishes Bundle is on sale for... $45.50. And there's one more that I don't have, which is the Wild Cats bundle. I don't have that one and it is on sale for $34.25. Okay, now let's do the measurements for this one. I'm going to tell you full disclosure what happened here, okay? So I don't even have the card stock prepped or cut. And that is because I worked in my office till three o'clock yesterday and I physically could barely stand anymore. So I had to give up my, my goal. And my original plan was to create another card using this fold um, and these measurements was to create another card for you guys so that you would have two samples of this style of card. And then I would have had something to show you, but I, I had to tap out. I simply could not stand anymore and I'm almost at that limit now. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the, for those of you just joining, my back is out. That's what I'm referring to. So if you go to my blog, um, again, link in the description, it says measurements and supplies. Click that link, it'll take you to my blog post and on my blog post, you can scroll down to where it says, click here for project sheets. There's three of those. There's project sheet one, one A and two. Okay, so there's three total. So this is project sheet one. This is project sheet 1A. It has all those measurements for this uh, garden wishes bundle. 
And then here is the third one for the, um, the portrait version of this. So you can see here it says portrait style and these say landscape style. So let me show you the measurements really quick. You need a five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock. And you're gonna score this one. This is for the portrait style. You're gonna score this one at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. Then you need a piece of cardstock cut at three and a half by seven. And you're gonna score this at three and a half and five, five and five eighths, okay? And then I'll show you how this goes together. So this is gonna fold over this way and this back. So that's your standard Z fold, right? And then this one is going to fold forward and then this part back and then this will fit together like this. Okay, so you're just gonna glue this part down first after you, of course, have done all your decorating on your card base. You'll glue, glue this part down first here in the back and you're gonna do it exactly the same way we did it with the other one. You wanna add your adhesive here and then you wanna pinch this over the top, pinch it closed, and then line it all up exactly how you want it to be on the card. Maybe you want yours to be up high. Maybe you want yours to be down low because you have a die that's going to stick up off the top. It's totally up to you. Wherever you want to place it and then you'll push it together so that this inside piece here glues to the back of the card. And then you can lift this piece up, add some adhesive here, and glue it back down. Okay? And that's how you end up with this fold. Super simple. So those are our three cards for the day. Now let me take a minute to look at your comments. I gotta grab my iPad. And I'm gonna look at your comments and see what you guys are up to and how you're doing today. Do, do, do. Talk amongst yourselves. All right. Let's see. Who do we have visiting us? Hello, Brenda. Hello, Renee. Hi, Valerie, Denise, Sandra, Kathy, Feline, Laura, Lara, Loretta. Kathy, Becky, Katrina, Josie, Francis. Oh my goodness, so many of you guys. Jamie, Pretty Petal, Tracy Bish. Hello, Missy. Oh, thank you, Rose. I did see Bob Ross's documentary. The more I see the wave bundle, the more I want it. Wendy, your samples are gorgeous. Thank you. Sunflowers are bright and cheerful. Oh, you're so sweet, Rosemary says. Hope I feel better. I hope I feel better too, guys. I'm trying really hard um, to get my back on back where it needs to be. Let me tell you what I didn't do. Let me tell you why I'm in this problem. I quit doing my physical therapy. It's been about two weeks since I've done any of my physical therapy, and I can pretty much guarantee you that's why I'm like this. Um... I've been riding my Peloton, but you have to still do your physical therapy when you have an injury. It just is what it is. So I'm responsible for this problem. I've put myself in this mess. Um, love the wave cards. Love all the cards. Hope your back feels better. I hate hearing your back giving you fits. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, okay, so... I think I've shared everything with you today that I set out to share. I really wanted to show you how to make these cards. They're so gorgeous. And there's photos of all of them on my blog. 
if you can do me a big favor and share that blog post with a friend or share your um share this video with a friend that helps people you know get these free project sheets that I work hard on the creative inspiration calendar again this is free it's already been emailed out to my email subscribers but if you subscribe you will be taken to a page that will give you this calendar along with several other calendars for free. So you'll wanna make sure that you do that. There is a link at the very bottom of the description below this video to go to my calendar. Waves of the Ocean stuff available now through May 2nd um, while supplies last. Free gift for the month of March is when you place a $100 order, you will get these goodies completely free from me. And if you place a $50 order, you will get resin dots. Okay, two different host codes. And then of course the 20% off sale, such a good deal. Oh, thank you, I'm so glad. Oh yes, so February, is my was my fundraising month for Alzheimer's Association and I would like to announce to you guys I haven't announced this anywhere else yet but we raised $520 by you guys placing orders with me to for me to have $5 to donate from each of your orders so $520 is going to go to the Alzheimer's Association and we did that together as a community people who purchased from me um are responsible for a $5 donation. So thank you very much. And I bicycled and walked a total of 112 miles in the month of February. So maybe that's why my back is messed up. <laughs> messed up. I'm working on getting into my massage therapist to see if she can help me. And hopefully um we will be able to do the Alzheimer's Association walk next year and maybe some of you will join my walking team that would be amazing okay i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day i am sorry that um i am not able to stay on longer i have to go lay down um so that i can get up again and go take my i pick my daughter up from school so you know just keep keep say a little prayer for me life could be worse i could have bigger problems for sure but if you guys could just say a little prayer that i have a miraculous healing of my back that would be awesome wouldn't that be awesome if that happened um so i appreciate you all being here if you need any of the products that i uh shared with you today please purchase them in my online store at shoploveandstampin.com you can also go to my blog at loveandstampin.com and click on the shop button and it will take you into all the options for shopping I heard, I heard it might be card making supplies or supplies i think it's supplies click on supplies and then you can shop from there all right thanks so much for hanging out with me guys i hope you have a tremendous rest of your day i'll talk to you soon Bye bye